Morning guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add camera shake effect using Vimora 9. So actually, this is very simple. I promise you just some step uh, in Vimora 9. You can add uh, shake effect to your video, your image, and also text. So that I'm, I will cover in this tutorial. Let's go. All right, so here I am inside Fimura 9. Fimura 9. So the first thing first, you want to add shake effect to your video. Okay, let's drag and drop this video onto the timeline. This is just an example video. Okay, and this is a girl uh, looking at looking back uh, at me. If you want to add a shake effect to a part of the video, there are two ways to do that. The first, the first way go to effect, and you go to include a folder. Here we have included folder, right? And go to filter, filters, yes, and then file shake. So there are eight different uh, different type of shake effect right inside Fimora 9 when you install the program. The first uh, channel one, channel two, extreme, uh, mid, sideway one, sideway two, up down one, and up down two. So all you need to do is to drag and drop the effect onto the timeline. For example, this is up down two. I can drag and drop it on top of the footage to apply shake effect to all the video under it. Okay, that's the first way, right? For example, at this position, I want to have shake effect. Then uh, let's play it. And you see that here we have shake effect. And we can also extend the duration of the shake effect along the timeline by drag and drop this, right? And shorten it like this. And that is the duration of the shake effect. And you can also uh, adjust the intensity or the shake effect, how much the shake effect inside by double click on the effect, double click. And here we have some option. Firstly, RGB separate. If you don't want to, uh, to have RGB separate, then you can disable it by click on this. And uh, let's see the effect again. So just shake, no RGB separate, right? And you can also adjust the frequency. Frequency, uh, it is calculated by percent. For example, this is for 400%. So you can change it to 200% or something like that. And then let's check the shake effect again. Right, it's less check, less shaky, right? And uh, let's go back to 400%. And also uh, enable the RGB separate. And then you can also uh, adjust the x y and z position so but we normally don't don't do that we we don't need to to adjust uh, x y uh, z position right and click ok and that is the first the first uh, solution to add shake effect to your video and the second solution if you want to add shake effect to only one video track not all the video track under it you can drag and drop directly the effect uh, I'm sorry, drag and drop the effect directly to the, that video track uh, like this. And let's delete it. And you want, for example, you have this uh, this video track and another track under it uh, like this. But you want to, to apply only the shake effect to this video track, not the track under it. Okay. And uh, for example, if you have an overlay track and this this track is an overlay track uh, like this, I want to, to have. I want to add shake effect to only this track, not the track under it. So I can go ahead to effect again and add the side wave or any 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 shake effect here and drag and drop it directly to the, the video track on the timeline. So by doing this, you only apply the shake effect to only one video track, not all the track under it. Okay, let's let's see it. So it is shake, right? It's shaky. The overlay is shaky now, right? And you can add more on that, right? And you see that there's shaky, uh, shaky effect on the overlay track. So that's how you can add, uh, add shake effect to your video, to one video clip or to all the video clip. For example, if I want to add shake effect to all the video clip, I can drag and drop it and put it here and extend it. 
just a moment so it it will affect all the the video track under it yeah right and here is the effect and you see that so that is the first uh, the first point you add shake effect to your video track and now i'm going to show you uh, how to add a shake effect to an image so doing the same way right uh, let's delete the video track on the timeline and go back to our media and here i have an image all right so let's extend it to so choose an image if we want to add shake effect to the image there are two ways right one is to put the shake effect on top of it like this and you add shake effect to this image and all the track under it okay like this shake 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 anything under it you can uh, create shake effect and the second way you can just uh, for example at this position I, I can split it out and extend the duration of the image and then add a shake effect to only the image not all the track so you can drag and drop a, a shake effect directly to that image like this yeah that's it right very simple right and so uh, with the, uh, doing the same way we can add shake effect to our text so when uh, so many many people ask about how to add shake effect to text and here you can how you can do it uh, let's delete it and if we go to uh, to the title tab and then we drag and drop a title onto the timeline and and now we need to create uh, create out the title uh, you want to to uh, to write on your video uh, this is your title and i can type it uh, shake effect uh, yeah just just an example and now uh, what should we do we should take a nap take a snapshot of the title yes uh, let's uh, click ok and go back to our media right and now we go to this button to take uh, take a snapshot take a snapshot and now we have a uh, shake effect right here so it is uh, it become an image so you do the same do the same for example i drag and drop it onto the timeline and i delete the title track and i extend it now i can add shake effect there is no shake effect and now we go to effect again and add a shake effect directly to the image title image right and now we have this shake effect right and now we can just put our video and uh, here i have another video under it so i can add shake effect to only the title not the whole video right let's play it here but the uh the title track is an image so it's cover the video so we can go to blending mode right double click on the on the image go to uh, image and uh, select compositing and now we can uh, select multi multiply or oh, screen yes to uh, to remove remove the black background of the image and now we have the shake image uh, shake effect on our title and the video is uh, doesn't have shake effect so that is very simple, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any question, let me know at the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.